So please write an answer for the third question. Calculation of weighted average cost of capital or overall cost of capital. In that we will work out the answer like this. Column number one is source of finance. Column number two is amount. Third column is weight or proportion of each source of finance in the capital sector. Next is cost of capital. Last is weight into cost of capital. That is the way the weighted average or overall cost of capital can be calculated. So dear students, in source of finance, we will have equity share capital. Then we will have the debentures. As far as the amount of the equity share capital value is concerned, 16,800. Debentures have a value of 18,000. So the total is 16,800 plus 18,000, 34,800. That is the total. So we'll compute the weight like this, 16,800 divided by 34,800. That comes to 0 0.4828. Total is definitely 1. So as far as the debentures are concerned, 1 minus 0 0.4828, that is 0 0.5172. That is supposed to be calculated as balancing figure. We understand it is 18,000 divided by 34,800. Multiplying with the respective cost of capital, cost of equity is 15 percentage and cost of debenture is 6 percentage. So 0.4828 into 15 and 0 0.5172 into 6. So 7.242, 0 0.5172 into 6, 3.1032. So that is the way the weighted average or overall cost of capital is found. It is 10.3452. This is the way we are required to calculate the answer. The last question is calculation of the value of the firm. Let us have understanding that say how to make the calculation of value of the firm. Value of firm is calculated as value of equity plus value of debt. As far as the value of the equity is concerned, it is an amount of 16,800 plus value of the debt is 18,000. So it is 34,800. This is the way the value of the firm is calculated. Or otherwise, we can do answer something like this. Listen me carefully. Now the alternative method is very important. 
the alternative method is again the earning capitalization method. In that case, we have the working like this. Value of the firm is equal to net operating profit after taxes divided by weighted average cost of capital. This is the way the answer is calculated. What is the net operating profit after taxes? It is earning before interest in taxes into 1 minus income tax rate divided by weighted average cost of capital. That is the way the value of the firm is calculated. What is weighted average cost of capital? It is 10.3452. It is 0 0.103452. Operating income is given to us in the example 6000. Income tax rate is only 40 percentage. So operating income is converted into post tax term. And the same is divided with the weighted average cost of capital. That is 10.3452. So the final answer is supposed to be found like this. 6000 into 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.103452. That comes to 34,798.74. So it is very near to rupees 34,800. It's because of the fraction only there is some difference. So the same answer can be found over here. This is the way the value of the firm can be calculated. Dear students over here, importantly, a kind of question to which I come across number of times is that sir, in the numerator, we have the post tax of operating income. So basically sir, what happens at so the amount of interest is not deducted and we compute the tax. So, Basically, there is a kind of point which is missing is interest tax saving. Isn't it like this? That is a kind of question to which I come across many a times. But the answer is no. Why? Because we have to understand friends. Let's say when we divide the same with the weighted average cost of capital. Then in that case, the cost of debt financing is always on the post tax basis. Means whatever the interest that we are required to pay. For that, the tax saving has already been found over here. Mm -hmm. And accordingly, we make the computation of the weighted average cost of capital, which is the part of the denominator and with which value of the firm is calculated. Please write on a small note for the answer. First of all, NOP18, its full form is net operating profit. after tax. In the try down now, first point, in calculation of value of firm, comma, we are using Earning capitalization method. Second point Value of the firm includes. value of debt and value of equity full stop so from numerator We do not have to deduct any financial charges.
Full stop. Third point. Apparently, income tax is calculated. without interest comma however in calculation of weighted average cost of capital comma kd is always taken on post tax basis this is what we understand read on further in that so so effect of interest tax savings is considered indirectly full stop so let us have the summary of the entire answer so let us have summary of the entire answer in the first part of the question, KD is required to be found. That is not something great. In second part of the question, we are required to make the calculation of the value of the equity. That is using earning capitalization method, we are doing it. So it is earning after taxes divided by K. That is the way the value of the equity is found. In the third part of the question, weighted average cost of capital. That is also something which is very simple. The Fourth part of the question is the most important working in which value of the firm is calculated using earning capitalization method or otherwise summation of the value of the equity plus value of the debt. So value of the equity is 16,800 plus value of the debt is 18,000 or otherwise the present value of the future earning. The future earning is in form of net operating profit after taxes. So it is earning before interest in taxes into 1 minus T divided by weighted average cost of capital. That is the way it is calculated and it comes to 34,800. A note that I have dictated to you that say in the numerator basically we post tax the operating income. So apparently the interest tax saving advantage is ignored but don't worry say when you take the weighted average cost of capital in division the cost of debt financing is calculated using the interest tax saving advantage. So indirectly it is always taken into account. 